Morning, guys. Well, your guess is as good as mine at the moment because, you know, we definitely didn't think we were going to see them for a long while after the frosty reception they got after they turned up for the Platinum Jubilee. However, it, uh, it seems that they're attending a few charity events. I mean, one may argue that this is sort of royal duty light, really. They're jetting into the UK on September 5th. They're going to be attending something called the One Young World Summit, 190 countries involved in that, all young leaders. Then they're going to Dusseldorf for the the sort of one-year uh, event for the Invictus Games, Harry's big sporting, massive, massive phenomenon. And then they will be back in the UK for the Well Child Award, a charity very close to, uh, to Harry's heart. But will they be seeing any of the royal family? This is a big question. There's also, like, lots of speculation, Rusty, and we don't like to speculate here because, you know, we're proper. Um, but there is some speculation that the Queen's not exactly 100%. Anything truth to that rumour? Well, listen, I mean, the Queen is 96, so we've got to cut her some slack sometimes, haven't we? It's, uh, she's had an awful lot, uh, lot of a busy run up to the Platinum Jubilee. Uh, she's supposed to be on, which well, she actually is on holiday in Scotland. However, she didn't attend the opening, the official opening of Balmoral the other day. So there were a few people saying, you know, is the Queen a bit, uh, not together all well? I'm told she's fit and healthy. She just has to be taking things um, very, very easy. However, we will see on that September date whether the Queen does come down to see Harry and Meghan because she has already said that she is intending to welcome the new Prime Minister here in Britain. So there are a lot of sort of moving parts in place here. So I think it's a very much a case of yeah, watch right. this space, see what happens. Mm. And, and what will happen with their security? Because I know there's been all these court cases and lawsuits about who should pay for that. Well, again, another really interesting point, because Harry has got two major cases launched against the British government. He is suing them for taking away his publicly funded uh, security. He will have to pay for that himself when he's here, because he's not uh, visiting um, other members of the royal family. He was given a sort of special dispensation. One may say that Harry should be paying for his own security. However, uh, very controversially, Prince Andrew has just been given his uh, publicly funded security to, uh, to remain in place, even though he's had to step back in disgrace. So, listen, more controversy with this family. It never goes away. Well, I mean, to be fair, his probably life is in more of a danger than anyone else in the royal family, <laughs> given what he got up to. <laughs> it all sits a little uncomfortably, doesn't it? Doesn't it?